Robbie, winning the way that we did on Tuesday night at Notts County, does that give everyone from the players, the staff and the supporters a, a bit of an extra spring in the step this week? Yeah, I think so. I think the manner of the, the victory, scoring so late, um, there's, there's no better feeling. You know, we've 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 done it quite regular this season, late goals. I think of the Sutton game here. I think of the uh, the last league game to, to get a draw against Leighton Orient and obviously in the FA Cup. So it's a nice habit to be in, certainly. And um, there's, there's, You can't replicate the, the feeling of winning a game of football and... Um, against a really strong Notts County team, I know I said that on the night that they, they are all but a league team. Um, other than that, they're, they're in a very strong national league, so their resources, their budgets, everything like that. But they've got a good team and a good manager. So to, to, to come through it, we saw some of the results in the in the same round, particularly last night. Um, so we, we're very satisfied with our work up to now in terms of the FA Cup, and we look forward to a, a fantastic game against Plymouth in front of the cameras. I guess you can't underestimate what it means for the club on the pitch, but off the pitch as well in terms of being on live television as well. No, um, like I say, it's, um, everybody's really pleased with the, with the result, it goes without saying. I think from where we were when I first joined the club, um, it's a pat on the back to everybody who you know, has, has, has fought to keep the club ours. Um, I think when we when we come round to that, the TV game will be extra special because of that. The the, the hard work that people don't see, that the, the board have made, the supporters trust, the supporters in general. Um, we've fought tooth and nail to keep our club, and um, it's a little reward for, for that. Big three league games coming up before that, though three games in a week as well. What's your sort of assessment looking forward to that week? Tough week um, in terms of like you say, there's going to be a lot of physical demands on the players. Um, we're in decent form in the league. We would have liked to win a couple more, but we go into it unbeaten in a, in, in a stretch of games. And, you know, we were expecting a, a really difficult week starting at Walsall, and they're an improving team. Um, a manager similar to myself, sort of finding his, his feet at times. Um, but, yeah, we, we go there in, in decent form, good confidence, and it could be the start of a really, really good week, couldn't it? You know, we, could, we can build on what we've done if we can and get that consistency in our game. We've got a good chance anywhere picking up points. That run that we've been on, especially in the league as well, five unbeaten, um, I think we've only lost once in our last eight games in all competitions and that was the, the Papa John's trophy as well, which I you know you said you made a lot of changes for. Um, we're in a really positive moment, aren't we? I think so. I think, um, you know, if I'm being really critical, we could have played better in some games. I'm hoping that it's the sign of a good team that we're picking up points and not getting beaten when we're not playing to our best. You know, I think back to a couple of games where, you know, we we, we maybe frustrate the supporters a little bit, shall we say, and that's fine. You know, we want to play our best every game. Will it happen? No. Um, but again, I go back to it'll take everybody. It, it, you know, we, we, we know that we're a, a team that's sort of learning on the job a little bit. We're in... I hate to use the word transitional period, but if ever, if ever it was a case to use it, it's with our club. Um, but we're, we're, we're battling to pick up points all over the place. So if we can go into the Walsall game, like you say, on that decent run of form, but focus on the performance. Let's see if we can improve our performance every time we step onto the pitch. And if we do, it gives us a better chance of winning. How's the squad looking after Tuesday's game? So, um, obviously missing from the game on Tuesday was Jim McNulty, Sam Graham, uh, Jimmy Keohan picked up a, a knock on his foot. Thankfully he's had an x-ray and there's nothing, no permanent damage, but it, it is a sore one, so he'd be touch and go. Um, AD, we're hoping it was cramp. He's still a little bit sore today, so he'll get assessed tomorrow, but it's maybe not something a little bit more serious. Um, other than that, it was more tactical changes that I wanted to make and freshen, freshen the, the team up. Obviously, Josh has missed a, a hell of an amount of football, um, so it was it was a decision that I made to take him off when I did. He, you know, he wanted to stay on, so we're hoping that the fact that we looked after him means that he's he's fresh and, and ready to go again if required. And just on using the whole squad, you had the opportunity to make more subs on on Tuesday night, but all those subs that did come on made an impact, didn't they? Yeah, um, I was just reading, uh, watching Sky Sports News there, and I think Exeter made one more than, than they maybe should have. So flitting between the two competitions, um, it, you know, it can it can get a little bit confusing if you like. But yeah, the, the substitutes came on and, and did exactly what I want them to do. You know, nobody's ever happy with me when I leave them on the bench. Um, 
every player wants to start from the off. But the only thing I ask that when they do contribute is that they come on and contribute positively and every single one of them did and um, I'm sure even the boys that didn't get on would have, would, have, would have done the same thing and it's a very difficult thing for me as manager to, to leave players out the team because um, as long as they're pushing hard in training it, it makes my job very difficult.